Not too long ago, mom Kirsten received a terrifying phone call that her eight-year-old son had suffered an unthinkable injury. He had been shot in the chest with one of these. Let's have a look. Tucker and Curtis got off of the bus around 3.30. Tucker was practicing with his bow, and Curtis came out of the garage, and they started bickering. Tucker lost concentration and was looking at Curtis, and his finger slipped off the bow, and the arrow went straight into Curtis's chest. Tucker called me, told me I needed to come home immediately. The ambulance got there, and they determined it was in four and a half inches. They told us that it had missed his pulmonary artery, his aorta, and his heart, which he would have bled out on the spot. And my husband and I wouldn't have been able to say goodbye to him. As soon as the helicopter landed, he was rushed into surgery. The team of doctors came into the room. They just said that it missed all of these major organs, but what is it? I said, is he alive? Because I just, I, I felt like he wasn't, like he didn't make it. And they're like, well, it went into the spinal cord. I said, what, he can't walk? And they're like, no. We've never seen anybody come back and walk from this again. And my entire family broke down. It was hard seeing his little lifeless body hooked up to all the tubes and not having any control over taking care of him and making him better. It was the worst evening ever. In a doctor's exclusive, please welcome Curtis's mother, Kirsten, to the show. Looking at that picture and the trajectory of that arrow, I see that and I think, oh, no way he survived that. But as you saw in those images, went right through his spinal cord. When the docs told you about this injury, how did your mind as a mom start spinning in terms of how am I gonna tell Curtis when he wakes up that he's paralyzed? Uh, one thing we tried to do throughout was nothing but positive in his room. We didn't want a lot of crying and we didn't want, we wanted it to be like, hey, this is just gonna be the new us. We just tried very hard to keep it all positive. Good for you. How do you get the strength to deal with the emotions? Because as a mom, you see your kid going through something like that. And I don't care how strong you are, the emotions that come up, how did you get the strength to redirect those emotions to say, we're gonna get through this, we're gonna go through it, and not fall down. I don't know how I did it, to be quite honest. I did break down the first night uh, when my husband uh, broke down himself, which, you know, as you men tend not to cry very often, so um, that hit me hard. But we just, we, I, I don't know how I stayed so positive.